<coughs> Alright man, Shalom, Shalom. Come into the name of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Racha, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, to us the truth and salutations unto the Arkham that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity, man. Now, um, as you can see on screen, this is uh, Daniel the 12th chapter. Okay. And uh, in fact, so that, let me get some water. It's like I'm gonna get that water in there. So, yeah, this is Daniel's chapter 12. Uh, one and it says and at that time shall Michael stand up uh, my Kha'ala which I believe the name Michael means who is like the power who is like God uh, and at that time Michael and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was uh, since there was a nation, even to the same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Now, there's a couple of points I want to make on this first verse here. Is that Michael in the Christian, in, in, in many, uh, I don't think in all denominations, but in a lot of denominations, them uh, theological cemeteries, as Apostle Toha puts it, they, they get taught that Michael is a Yahweh Shai. That's just another name for Jesus, as they would say. And that could be nothing further from the truth. Now, I've done lessons on that years ago. But there's scriptures that show you that um, Michael and Yahweh Shai are going to be present together. But they're separate entities. So how the hell could they be the same person? You know, the scriptures... Um, you know, um, makes that clear, but that's a lesson in itself, um, and like I said, I've done that lesson before, I may get into it again, but, you know, Yahweh Shai and Michael, you know, they're not, they're not the same person, man, okay, anyways, um, Michael would be like the, um, the top angel under Yahweh Shai, right, and you've got other top angels as well, but Michael was the first of like them angels on the Yahweh Shai. Okay, Gabriel's another one of the top angels. Uriel, uh, Goodbye Allah, Warrior Allah. Um, um, uh, many others, man. But you know, um, I'm not gonna list all of them angels that are in the scriptures. As anyway, he says, uh, where are we at? Yeah, so let's read that again at that time. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, uh, such as never was since there was a nation, even to, the, to that same time. Yeah, that's speaking of, um, see the prophecies, man. It's a handful of events. Um, a couple of events which are just expressed differently by the various prophets but they're all talking about the same thing where can we go for that if we go to the book of jeremiah chapter 30 and we read it at verse 7 and it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it, it is even a time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it okay an unlearned person, a person that hasn't been taught correctly, they would think, oh, well, you got one event in Jeremiah, then let's go to Daniel 12, and you're going to get another event in a... No, it's the same thing, it's just expressed differently, man, by the different prophets. Case in point here, the example of um, um, Jeremiah and Daniel, but they, they're both saying the same thing. Okay. All right. Slightly worded different, but the same thing. Okay, <clears throat> and this once again is focusing in on that uh, Jacob's trouble. Okay, um, verse 
Let me read the last half of that verse, and it says, "Such as never was since there was a nation, even that even even to that time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be written in the book." Now the scriptures speak about the Lamb's book of life, wherein the elect is going to be written in. Thought that's the book is speaking about, right? That's in Revelation. So verse two, and it says, "That many." Of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay, you're gonna have um, Israelites that, you know, they're gonna come back, man. You know, you're gonna have uh, holy men in the faith which passed on. The scripture says their works do follow them. They're gonna get raised back up, and then you've got Israelites that's gonna get um, born back into the kingdom, but they're gonna. The, uh, that gets into uh, that confusion of faces they're going to have that embarrassment for a period of time because um, it's going to get told to them that they were against the truth in the old world and now being born into the new world um, they they basically had nothing to do with the setup of um, you know the kingdom of heaven they were against essentially in a previous world and their own people were concerned truth and righteousness okay and it's not going to last forever you know but it will be there initially within the kingdom all right talking of that um that embarrassment and they that be that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time and the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Uh, you know, that's your aeroplanes running to and fro. You know, you know, you can get you can get to countries in a matter of hours. You know, eight hours, nine hours. You know. Whereas in the ancient world, it would take you, for example, it would take uh, like three years to get to America, man. Year and a half, well, it's like yeah, three, three years for a return on a return journey. Year and a half to get there, year and a half to get back, you know. But now you can, eight hours, nine hours, you, you, you're up and down the, the, the you know, various lands, man. Okay, um... And knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, because the Lord has given Esau this technology. But once again, even with that, as we were speaking at the camp last week, he can't um, exceed that which was given to him. But still, he, you know, you know that, that's talking about the, you know, the technologies, man. Then I, Daniel, looked and, beho and behold, there stood two other, the one on, on this side of the bank of the river and the other. <clears throat> on that side of the bank of the river and one said to the man clothed in linen which was upon the waters of the river how long should it be to the end of these wonders and I heard the man clothed in linen uh, which was upon the waters of the river when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that live forever it shall be for a time times and, and half and thinking of the man clothed in linen who else saw a man clothed in linen Ezekiel I believe that's Ezekiel the ninth chapter the man clothed in linen who had the ink on okay And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. You know, and there's other prophecies getting into that, the, the, the word being shut up, you know, and then um, that period of time, 1969, 1970, you know, when uh, Rabbi Abba um, you know, Kickstarted the truth, if you will. 
Salaki was a little bit late I'm tired That's why I'm reading funny as well But um, Yeah with other buildings the, the books being open The understanding You know Coming back Bit by bit Even unto our apostles and elders today man. You know But that's signs of the end time Many shall be purified And made white Purified how? By the washing of the word And made white Because white means pu Represents purity You know So we're really the white people, okay, and tried, you know, so that's kind of through that tribulation, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and all of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand, okay, now this gets into the, you know, the temple and sacrifice, um, other prophecies, which I'm going to do another video on, because when you get into the, um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Christians, they get, they have some bugged out, Doctrines, you know, 2,300 day in the temple and the sanctifying of it. They ain't got a, a, a rat's clue what it's talking about. So I'm going to do a separate lesson. Um, talking about the purification and the, sac the daily sacrifice and the temple. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's an in-depth lesson. But pretty much, you know, these first couple of verses in Daniel 12. Um... You know, all the prophecies are the same, and you know, so like I said, it's a handful of events that's just explained differently by various prophets, man. You know, but listen to that, man, I'm out, man, sure.